I've been asked to make NFTs. All my students have been asking me. So one of my students in particular, I am very proud of him. He made NFTs of his own, and I want to show you what they look like. File open. These are NFTs that one of my students just started making up on his own. He made a whole world of them. He's got some sneaker designs thrown in there. But um, some of them, you know, um, this is all for educational purposes, by the way. This is just to teach you how to make the NFTs. All right. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to start with a regular image. All right. You're going to go and you're going to get something. Now, it could be anything. Uh, you know, they use apes, monkeys, and stuff. We use the skull. How did we get this? First things first. These are NFTs that already exist right now. These are the Bored Ape from the uh, Bored Ape Yacht Club. All right. As you see, these are all real NFTs. Now, um, they're all different. They're kind of like Mr. Potato Head. Everyone's got their own little thing going on, you know, um, little different uh, themes. So what I do is we go to animal emojis. So we went and looked up animal emojis, and you could just make it simple for now, for educational purposes. You get a little simple one. First thing we did is we got a skull. This is the skull we use. You right-click. Well, first of all, you click the image itself. Make sure it's a decent size. You see the sizes of it here, all right? <clears throat> You're going to right-click, copy the image. You want something that's close to 300 megapixels, please. You're going to go into here. You're going to edit, paste it, all right? After you have pasted an image into here, all right, so let's just get an image first. Let me really quick copy it, go into Photoshop, edit, paste, all right? Paste. Um, whoopsie. That's a baseball. Pardon me. Sorry about that. Uh, we're going to paste it in. Um, where is it? So this skull right here, right-click, copy the image itself, go into Photoshop, and you're going to go to edit, paste. You're going to notice he enlarged it a little bit. He made it a little bigger. Control-T. He made it a little bit bigger. All right. The way to get rid of the background, you guys, my bad. You guys already know this. You're going to go into the magic wand tool, click on the background, and you're going to hit delete, and that got rid of the background. All right. So that's how I came to this. After you have this, next order of business, I want to, um, first of all, there's different types of NFTs. You can obviously do that. But now we're going to place different images on here. So first things first. We're going to get the images that I'd like to do. So I took the liberty of getting a couple of different images. First things first, I got a Mets hat. You know, I got a hat. Um, I also got different hats as well. As I come into here, as we come into here, uh, put this little hat on him in here. You know, you could place hats on them. Um, one of the things you do when you place something on there is you want to put a filter on it. So you go to filter, my bad, right here. You're going to go into filter, filter gallery, and this is for all the different accessories. Now, for the hat, I know that the cutout filter looks really cool. So you hit OK, and now you have that kind of like like hat on them over here. And you could get rid of this stuff by using the clone stamp tool. So you go into the clone stamp tool, hold alt, and you can like erase over here. Clone stamp tool is whenever you click on the clone stamp, hold shift. You could also play with the diameter. Use a soft edge, please. All right. Make it a little bit bigger if you need to. Hold Alt. Um, and you get to copy whatever's over here. If I want this over here, holding Alt, it puts that over there. But I don't want that. So I'm going to hold Alt and get rid of this stuff over here just really quickly for educational purposes. All right. If you want this, now that's one option you could put on this guy. Now, next, <clears throat> uh, instead of a hat, we could put a baseball bat. So I got a baseball bat. Uh, any bat you want. I found this bat right here. I'm going to right-click, copy it. I'm going to go into here. I'm going to go to edit, paste. Uh, the bat is ginormous, I believe. So control T. We'll shrink it a little bit. Hold on. Where's that bat, man? I don't see the bat. Hold on. Where'd it go? What is this? I don't see the bat. Let me throw this away. Hold on. Sorry about that. My bad. Boom. I got the bat. It's in here. I put it in already earlier. But I just want to show you, you guys know how to copy an image and paste it in. This thing is, is ginormous. See the size of it? So just put the baseball bat in here and you cut it out. So now you know how to get a bat. All right? And to cut out the image of the background. Control T after you've cut it out. Holding shift. We're not holding shift now in the new version of Photoshop. You can make it a little bit smaller. You can put it any way you'd like. All right? Now for the baseball bat, we could also go to the filter gallery, cut out. All right, so let's do that. Click the Move tool and apply. First things first. Filter, Filter Gallery. 
You can do it as a cutout as well, and now it's in a cartoonish baseball bat, okay? So you have a hat and a baseball bat. You could put the baseball bat over here. Take the hat away for a minute. Control T. We can make this like a cross if you wanted to. Come in here. And now you could duplicate the image, and you're going to notice that I labeled my, my layers. Control T on the copy. Flip it this way. Now you got another guy over here. You know, the pirates always have the bones. All right, you can get creative with this. Now, the baseball. How did I, here's a baseball that I put in here. I went and I got the baseball by going and getting a baseball. Obviously, I searched up a baseball, and after I picked it out, I right-click, copy on the image, go into the, uh, the NFT, potential NFT, edit, paste, paste your baseball in, all right? How do I get rid of the background? Use the magic wand tool. Come into here, delete, select, deselect, or control D. Now, you take the baseball, which I already have one over here. I did it. It's right here. I put the baseball. I hit the move tool. I put the baseball over the eye. All right, so now I have the baseball over the eyeball. Let's say you want to get a little creative with this. So we're going to lower the opacity of this baseball, and I want just the stitches in his eyeball. I don't want the rest of the eye visible. So I'll go into this layer right here. I'm going to, The magic wand tool is very relevant. So I'm going to click here, holding shift, or use the full, uh, the uh, quick selection as well will do it. But I'm using the magic wand. I selected that. Watch this. Go into the baseball. And I'm sorry I'm rushing. All right. I have another class coming in, and I want to show you guys how to have some fun with this stuff. Sorry, my bad. I'm getting rid of this ball that I don't need. Here's the ball that I did want. You notice that I have it on the baseball layer. I'm going to go to edit. I'm going to throw out this rest of the... You can leave that as it was. Make them have like a baseball black eye. Throw this out. Control... Uh, Sorry. Edit, paste in place. Paste special, paste in place. Now I have the baseball over here. Now, let's say that I want to make it look like a pirate strap on the eyeball. Okay, no problem. The handy dandy magic wand tool again. Go into here. On the pirate strap, which I'm naming the layers, double click, name your layers. You guys all know how to do that. You double click it. Pirate strap on this layer. And again, I apologize for rushing. I'm limited on time here, guys. I'm hitting delete, getting rid of that. I'm going to take the strap, uh, control D, moving it over here. All I really want, though, is the strap because I want to be a little creative with this. I want this part to only be seen. So I'm going to use this tool right here. I'm going to cut out only this strap right here on the pirate strap. Edit, cut. Throwing out the rest of the strap because I don't want it. I don't really need it. Actually, before I throw it out, I'll just take it away. I'm going to go to edit, paste. Moving this strap with the move tool. Putting it over here. I could put it underneath the baseball, put the baseball over the strap. Boom. There you go. Now, I need the other strap visible. So I'll duplicate this, just like we do with the rim in the car. Control T, moving this over here, flipping this the other way. And now I'll just stretch it a bit, right about there, and move it over to here. There you go. Now, uh, this part is off a little bit. Oh, that's a gigantic eraser. If you have an issue with anything, you go to the eraser tool. And you choose the thing you want to, uh, whatever you need to erase, the filter, the one you want to, and you erase the thing on the, right there. Now, so now you have a strap over here. Uh, we've also had a hat option. You could put a hat on it. Why is the hat over, over the strap? Well, you got to put the hat above everything. And now the hat's over it. So now you have that option too. All right, so that, here's the deal. I want to put a texture on this guy. How do you do that, Reese? You're going to go over to here. And now, oh, by the way, sunglasses too. I, I did do sunglasses. Check it out. Yeah, I got sunglasses going on. Listen, it's really a Mr. Potato Head. So that's what you're basically dealing with. You're starting with the original, which is basically one of these. And now you're adding stuff to it. All right. Now, so I put hat on there. You got sunglasses going. You have um, <clears throat> the pirate strap over here, over there, and the baseball in the eye. You got the baseball bats, 
one and two. Oh, I don't like the fact that this is two separate layers. All right, come here, hold shift, right click, merge layers. Now they're both one layer. All right, so check it out. I want to put a texture on this guy. All right, so here we go, really fast. I'm going to go and I took the uh, liberty of getting a leopard print. I'm going to copy the image and check this out. I'm going to go to edit, paste. I am now going to go into, take this away. I want to use the magic wand tool again. I'm clicking on the outskirts. I'm holding shift. I'm selecting more of this um, pirate, so to speak, right? All the uh, little areas that you don't want to not be shown. All right, so this is pretty good. I'm going to bring the leopard skin back. Watch this. Edit, cut. Just like I did with the rim. I'm throwing this away now. It's garbage. Edit, paste special, paste in place. When I say just like I did with the rim, that's in the car tutorial. I did the same thing when I duplicate a rim. Now I'm lowering the opacity of this so I could see what the heck is going on in here. Bring this up a little bit more. And now watch. I'm using the eraser tool. And I'm just going to go in here and clean up these edges in here. All right. Really quick. I'm going to actually make this a little bigger to save myself some time. Nice. Go right through it, people. All right. This is going to be a, not as clean as it could be. I'm going to rush it a little bit, but you get it. All right. So there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Nice. Now, bringing it all the way back up. Boom. All right. Zombie. Visiting the zombie la uh, project. Layer overlay. Now it's an overlay. And now I could bring back the other things that I had and see what I like. Uh, where's the bat? Where's the baseball bat? That's these guy. Boom. Now I got that going on. This part looks a little bit strange to me. So we'll come over here and hit the edge on the right click. Leopard skin. All right, so the leopard skin over here. I'm going to just kiss this edge really quickly. Oh, I'm going a little sloppy. I apologize. There you go. Get rid of that edge if you need to. Now watch this. Check this out. I hate the fact that it's so busy over here. It's very busy for me. So check this out. I'm going to use the eraser tool. I'm going to make a really big soft edge. I'm going to go big. I'm going to go like 1100. Perfect. Now, I'm going to back out. I'm going to hold Alt. I'm going to back out of here. And watch this. Clicking on my eraser tool on the leopard skin. I'll duplicate it. I'll duplicate it so that this way I have an extra one. On this one, though, I'm going to slowly kiss the top of the edge so that the skull comes back. See that right there? So now I soft edged it. And now as we go back to the image, you could see it now coming. Now, a background. All right, no problem. Coming to here, let's do turquoise. Everybody loves that turquoise of the uh, this guy right here. Boom, boom. Watch this. A rectangular shape that's turquoise. Right here. Pow, bring it to the very bottom. And look at that. I just made a quick NFT. Put a hat on him if I want. I could put sunglasses on if I want. Could do a few different things with this guy. What is the NFT? Well, if you go to File, Open, these are all examples of different NFTs that my student actually created in my class, and I'm super proud of them. So that's why I made it, and I'll open them up for you just to show you of what they are. Um, let's hit Cancel. I'll just click them really fast. These are other ones that he had made. Um, and he even put the coins on there, you know. And he's got all different types of NFTs that he has made. And I am super duper proud of what this young man was doing. So I made it a point to show you how to do it. Okay? Take your time. Have fun with this. Play with the accessorize. And look, there's no right or wrong with this. Okay? This is all for fun. Enjoy doing this. And most importantly, um, be creative, but don't be offensive. And that's it. Thank you.